Stewart there and lead to a playoff place. We could finish fifth, depending on other results. We're just getting over the line must be a priority. It's a simple equation. With such mathematics required for the visiting champions. They sailed off into the sunset last week with three other feet. The Stockport last weekend had since brought their boat. Provide a sizable obstacle for a man to overcome and keep their season going. Remember the victims and families affected by the Bell of Fame fire this afternoon, which devastated this about 38 years ago this week. There were six spectators were probably at 250 injured. with him out of draws they've had this season. Just one defeat in 14 from August to mid-November and then two in 19 from the start of this year. <laughs> I think some of those into wins they would have been mixing it in the top three rather than in the race for the top seven. And two over this corner. Which is swung in deeply. It's just off the line, and it had to be from El Mazzuni. Bradford keeping their foot on the pedal, and just wide this time from Krishlo, who had to react quickly at the back post. The initial corner was a really dangerous one. Orient struggled to clear, which gave Bradford the second opportunity. Stubbs's effort was closer to go by Trichlow, just not enough. If Bradford can win this afternoon, they'll end up with 28 more points this term than they did last season, so a really big improvement under Mark Hughes. A shot towards goal. Well parried by Lawrence Figaro. No, no, would be good enough for Bradford. Need to get the noses in front and to secure that seventh place. Ultimately, goal would certainly complicate matters. Here in Yorkshire. Where it goes to Smith. Oh, crosses. Well defended at the front post. The first time the Bradford goal's been under any real pressure. Sadler delivers. Caught sweetly on the volley, well blocked. James thought about the cross and it's a lovely tucked finish from Jordan Brown who in one sweeping motion brings the ball under control and sends it into the bottom corner a bit of a rarity for him it's his first goal in more than a year and that really thickens the plot now for Mark Hughes and Bradford City Certainly not the composure and finish of a man who is scoring only the second goal of his career, that's for sure. Newton Orient haven't been beaten from a winning position in the league this season. 
Oh, that record slipped on the final day. As Bradford go in search of an equaliser. Thunder towards goal and with a huge slice of fortune, Halliday brings Bradford level. He almost looks like he doesn't want to celebrate it too much. And if it goes down as his, which I'm sure it will, that's the first time he's found the net in almost two and a half years. What a vital time to end that long, long period. Any one of us can feel low. Our thoughts can get us down. We can also feel worried about family and friends. But you don't need to struggle on your own. A helping hand is at the end of the phone or keyboard every day of the year. Call Guideline on their free phone number today. 08001 884 884 or go online to use the live chat www.mindinbradford.org.uk Guideline is brought to you by Mind in Bradford, your local mental health charity. against the champions but Brad Halliday's deflected goal means events elsewhere don't matter but for about two games from Wembley and they'll hope to earn the right to play Orient again next season 
and then take their play of their fans after the final whistle. The finish is in Yorkshire, Bradford 1, Leighton Orient 1.